Hello everyone! So my siblings and I just finished watching WandaVision last night and as soon as I saw the headpiece from the show, I knew that I had to make it. And I will be posting a link to a free template that I made down in the description. This really was a pretty simple build. As you'll see, I just used cardboard from the cereal box. So I started off by cutting up a cereal box to get some flat sheets of cardboard. As you can see here, I used Special K because that cardboard usually is the best. I'm just kidding, it's all the same, use whatever you want. And here I started freehand sketching out just the overall shape of the headpiece and I use a foam head to kind of get the correct scale. You guys don't have to freehand it yourself since I'm posting the template, but I just thought I'd show you guys how I did it in case you ever want to do it yourself. One technique I used here was folding the cardboard in half and cutting it out and that should help get you a perfectly symmetrical piece. This project was particularly fun because I got to look at a picture of Elizabeth Olsen the whole time. I'm just kidding, I have a girlfriend, Sarah forgive me, but Elizabeth Olsen you are kinda cute. So here I just laid down that piece that I cut out and I traced it out on the second sheet of cardboard so I can get the second layer sketched out. Again, this part you do not have to do on your own since I posted a template. You guys can just print that out and cut it out. But I thought it'd be pretty cool to show you, so here it is. And I thought it'd be pretty cool to show you guys all my gray hairs, so enjoy looking at that. And here I am cutting out all those details with an X-Acto knife. You want to make sure you are very careful when cutting this out. And you also want to make sure that you're using a very sharp knife to get nice clean cuts. So to put on the second layer, I just laid down a bit of super glue, kind of messy, and I'm just literally just placing that second layer on top of it. It's okay if you see super glue within the details because that'll get covered up later with paint. And here I just do a quick check to make sure everything looks right and everything is scaled properly. So for a ceiling coat, I use this Mod Podge here and I just brush it on and cover the entire front face of the headpiece. You can cover the backside also, it doesn't really matter, but it is very important that you do completely the front side to make sure everything gets held together. So I didn't have any purple paint, so I had to make my own. I had some red and blue paint. And here I'm just mixing it until I get a color that I think looks good. And now I just brush it on until I cover it completely. And you'll probably want to do a couple layers to make sure you get a nice solid color. For this part, I mixed together a darker purple to fill in all of the details on the headpiece and I used a, a small thin brush just to brush that in. And this step will really make all those details pop out and it'll make it look a lot better. So don't forget this step because I didn't do it the first time around and it didn't look good. But here I am. So I didn't show it in the video, but I did add 
these Velcro straps just so that you can actually wear it. You can put it on however you want if you want to tape it to your face or put some sort of hair clip. But that's all there is to it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Follow my Instagram at PropWay to see more prop stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video.